Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly forecast for August 15th through the 21st. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, you might see this video in a few months, a few weeks, a few years. You're going to see it whenever you're meant to see it. Keep in mind this is a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, let's see what's coming up here for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising. One more shuffle. All right, let's get right on into it. And I'm going to move you all just a little bit closer. First card coming up here for the Pisces Collective is... Three of Cups. This could be traditionally uh, Three of Cups has gotten typecast as engagement. Maybe some of you are getting engaged or announcing an engagement or meeting the person you're going to get engaged to. That can be happening at times uh, with the Three of Cups. But Three of Cups can also be finding like-minded people, like-minded community. So some of you may be feeling like you're finding your niche or you're finding your place or people that you can talk to or people that you could vibe with. Or um, I feel for some of you within like career or work, uh, whatever you may be doing, if you're doing something technical or creative or whatever it might be, you may be figuring out like where your niche or where your expertise is and you may be finding that you're being like accepted into a certain group or accepted into a certain kind of like a, a subdivision of your field. Um, three of Cups also for me uh, in my readings can be that you might be coming into a time of healing from the feminine wound, okay? So uh, here we go again. This upsets a lot of people. <laughs> it's for some reason super controversial. I don't know why. It is what it is, my darlings. Okay, it is what it is. I can't help it. Uh, we hear so much about toxic masculinity. I'm not going to sit here and say toxic masculinity doesn't exist. Of course it does. Not all masculines are toxic. Okay. Um, it exists, but we don't talk about toxic femininity and toxic femininity is very real. Okay. And some of us have wounds from that, you know, maybe from the time you were very young, maybe your mother figure or the female uh, uh, figures in your life, maybe they behaved more like jealous siblings uh, than parental figures, or maybe they were very harsh very critical, uh, very demanding. Uh, maybe it's not from a parental aspect, but maybe just as you kind of grew up and went to school and established friendships and relationships, you might have dealt with a lot of the mean girl energy, right? The catty, backstabby, pretending to be nice to you or making you jump through hoops for a bit of their time or their attention, making you feel like you have to kind of serve them. Um, and, uh, especially so if you're a Pisces who's been on a spiritual path, uh, the whole goddess thing was like the hot buzzword, uh, for the longest time, right? A goddess, feminine energy, respecting the feminine energy, uh, you know, honoring the feminine energy and some of that, not everybody, some of that went a little extreme. Some of that was just kind of like, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm the queen of the mountain and you're all the sorry people, you know, serve me, lick my shoe. Uh, some of it got a little extreme. Not everybody. I'm not saying that the whole goddess teaching or the goddess belief is uh, bad. I'm not saying that at all. But like all beliefs that exist, people find a way to twist them and use them to their advantage. And some of you may have fallen into that. And uh, so you might not have dealt with very loving, supporting, kind, soothing, nurturing uh, feminine energy. And so you may be coming into a time where you're starting to call that kind of energy into your life. Okay. Um, so there could be healing from feminine wounds for, for, for some of you. The next card coming up here for the Pisces Collective is the Four of Cups. Okay. 
So four of cups can come up in a situation where we may be raising the bar. Okay, at least for me in my readings. Some of you have heard me say this in the past. The four of cups makes me think about what Rumi wrote about when he wrote about divine discontentment. So in his writings about divine discontentment, it's kind of like that moment where you look around and you see everybody being happy. You see everybody with their blessings. And it's not a moment of jealousy or hatred or envy, but it's just kind of like this aha moment where you're like, hold on now. I see all these people, they're happy. They have all this good stuff happening for them right? They're no better than I am. I'm just as good as they are. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the universe. There's nothing special about them that makes them more deserving. When's it going to be my turn? What about my blessing? What about my, like, what about what I want? And so um, it's kind of like, I call it a healthy sense of entitlement, not a negative way, not a selfish, bratty way, not a narcissistic way, but in a way where you realize I am just as worthy, I am just as deserving as everybody else. And maybe you do have certain gifts or talents that make you more uh, qualified for certain <laughs> blessings or opportunities. But you begin to realize that, like, hey, you know, why not me? Four of Cups, and I've said this in previous readings, a lot of the times it comes up because you have manifested your life at a time when you were in a very, very, very limited thinking. You were in a very limited belief. You didn't think things were really possible. You might have had a really low self-esteem at that time. So when you manifested, you didn't really aim for the stars, so to speak, or you 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 made very... Uh, bare minimum wishes, right? Oh, I can't wait to find a partner that uh, doesn't yell at me and doesn't hit me. Uh, that is bare minimum, my darling. That is bare minimum. Nobody deserves a parade for not hitting you. Uh, or I can't wait to find a job where they actually pay me on time. I don't have to go chasing after anybody from my paycheck. And then I don't have to go double check my paycheck and make sure they didn't mess up and shortchange me that is a bare minimum. If you're showing up for a job and you're doing your work, they need to pay you bare minimum. If you're working and not getting paid, that's not a job, that's slavery, right? So, and then, so you may have manifested those things, but now life feels very lackluster. Life feels very bland. And you're realizing all this stuff right now is bare minimum. And you're like, I want more. I want the flavor. I want the seasoning. I want the cherry on top. So you're raising the bar, you're raising your standard. You can still be grateful and have gratitude for what you have, but realize that you deserve more. And so Pisces, a lot of you may be raising the bar here and you may be revisiting uh, your plans or your ideas or your vision boards and you may be raising the bar here in terms of uh, your future goals and the things that you're calling in. The next card coming up here for you all is the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords um, is getting away from drama, getting away from chaos. Uh, this can be just like a mental state of mind. You may be disconnecting from anyone that's been robbing you of your peace or uh, causing uh, drama. You know what's so interesting? I've been doing tarot readings for a long time and I've used this deck several times. I've had it for a while and I've never, ever, ever seen the Six of Swords the way I'm seeing the Six of Swords for Pisces. It's so funny how I looked at this card and I saw like this quick little animation in my head, like the card was animated. And so I, I saw this sword just kind of like walking along and then these other six swords came in and like stabbed it in the back. And all of this is like the nerves are like the ouch, right? Which this is a message of peace. But when I saw it like that, it brought a message to me. I feel Pisces, some of you have somebody in your life that they just have a tendency, they really, 
really know how to uh, pop your bubble. Like they, they really know how to burst your bubble. Like anytime you're excited about something and you're at peace about something and you're like, oh, I found the solution or I'm really excited about this, they have a way to just come in and just take a crap all over it. And, and I feel like a lot of you are disconnecting from this person. You may even be putting physical space between you and this person. So maybe you've been living with this person. Maybe this is a roommate and you're moving out. Or it could be somebody that you work with closely, but you're going to be changing where you work or changing jobs. Um, I feel like there's going to be a physical distance between you and somebody who's like, yeah, but what about this? Yeah, but what about that? Or, oh, but did you ever think about this? Or, oh, that's great, but you know, what really is, sucks is this, right? I feel like there's just someone who just has this tendency to just rain down on any little bit of sunshine that comes into your life and you're disconnecting from this person. Six of Swords traditionally can also be traveling or taking a trip to somewhere where there's water or over water it doesn't have to be water but sometimes there's an element of water uh, but the six of swords can be taking a trip or traveling so maybe some of you are going to have an opportunity to get away for a little bit take a little bit of a trip and i've said this before in previous readings over the years reading for people i've seen it happen time and time again it's happened to me when i've pulled cards for myself clients I've read for over the years it's like you may be taking an unexpected trip and all of a sudden that unexpected trip becomes an unexpected relocation because things just fall into place things just land in a way where you're like okay I guess I'm moving so some of you may be taking a trip maybe you're going out to visit friends or visit family and next thing you know you're like all right this is it this is going to be home now the next card that's coming up here for Pisces is the Eight of Coins, okay? Um, and so this can be perfecting a skill, uh, perfecting your craft. Uh, if you are working on something right now, maybe there's something you've been working on and you're wanting to release it or launch it. If you have a business and you've been working on a product um, or if a creative endeavor or some kind of line or something, Eight of Pentacles says there's no need to rush this. You can take your time and pay attention to the details. Um, in a work situation, working with someone, Eight of Pentacles could tell us that this is somebody who values uh, quality over quantity, right? So they're going to be looking for quality versus volume. Uh, eight of coins can also come up sometimes when we've been debating about learning a certain skill. Maybe not going full on back to school for a degree, but maybe you've been like, oh, it might be a good idea to get this certificate or get this training or learn this skill or... Um, you know, uh, invest in this equipment for my business or offer this service and, and, you know, but I need some training before I can do that. And eight of coins says it's going to be worth your while, that that would be a wise investment for you. Uh, so it could be just sharpening your skills, brushing up on your skills, learning a new skill or trade, and just taking your time to get all the little details right. Um, and, uh, and, uh, I, I, I'm hearing get established, get established. So I would say for you to maybe sit with that word and ask yourself what that means for you. And uh, to know that spirit is telling you, don't worry, don't be, don't be worried. Like um, you can take your time and work through those details and getting established. It's not a race against the clock. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. Uh, if you'd like a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to the uh, scheduling page. Love readings for August are linked in the description. Uh, the weekly forecasts are linked in the description if you want to go and check out your uh, other placements you can. And every single day I post a daily message on the channel. If you might want to start your day off with a daily message, be sure to come back and check that out as well. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead and hope to see you all in the dailies. 
Take care and be well.